Now you did. Until now. So don't mind our appearance. I'm wearing a Game of Thrones night shirt. I've been wearing it for four days. We've been in our daytime pajamas. Quarantine. <laughs> it's a hard life. I'm ducking out in the Game of Thrones. Don't show the pretty pants. Pretty ducked out. It looks like Monsters, Inc. It's, it's pretty terrible. Anyway, so today we're doing a cooking video. It's a very, very simple one, but I thought we would choose one from the 1800s because on my main channel, I've been doing a lot of videos about the 1800s the early 1900s and all the creepy stuff associated with it. But today's video is not creepy. It's gonna be really fun. We're gonna be making stuff with chocolate chips, which is great. So the recipe that I chose today is called treasure chest cookies. So they were made in the 1800s all the way up to the mid 1900s. Mom, don't show her in the camera, but have you made treasure chest cookies before? No. Um, excuse me. I'm not saying me that because you think I'm from the 1800s. No, I'm saying your mom was probably born before 1950, right? Oh my gosh, if she's watching this, she's gonna be like, stop. <laughs> I just wondered. Ask your parents too. But anyway, so basically treasure chest cookies were called that because people who made these didn't have a lot of money. They couldn't go to the grocery store and get all kinds of food and stuff. So they made whatever they could find ingredients in their cupboards and stuff. So it's very simple ingredients that they could just take from their own treasure chest. It's basically cookies that we're making that you can put anything in it. Yes, so whatever they had in their cupboards, they would get together and put in them. So it could be raisins, it could be chocolate chips, it could be nuts, it could be anything to just literally throw into a cookie mix. It could be gummy bears. It could be gummy bears, but I don't think they had those back then in the 1800s. They had candies. They had candies, but probably not gummy bears. You never know. Never know. That New video idea. Twist and nostalgia, gummy bear dish. Here, just... That could be good. Do I have a hair in my mouth? No, you kind of... Uh... I wanted a shiny nose. No, your highlight was a giant circle. Look, you can see it on my Did finger. Did you just take off my highlight? No, it was a pile Did you on just your nose. Take off my highlight? <laughs> anyway, so as you guys know, our um, Lyme disease restrictions. We're not supposed to be eating this stuff, but a cookie won't harm us. We are in quarantine. I think it's okay to treat ourselves, but only once. We're gonna say that it's okay to treat ourselves every single day, and. No. Mm, what's the, that's how it's been going, Jess. I ate an entire loaf of banana bread yesterday. Wow. It was good that's banana bread. Good. Anyway, so. Is that who ate the banana bread? Yes. yes. It was really good. Tell <laughs> you. All right, so we have our ingredients here. So basically, in modern day terms, we're making chocolate chip cookies. No, I think we have to put a little fun twist what? on it. Well, we have, I think it's walnuts in here. We have walnuts. Yeah, we can put that in there. Okay. Maybe some cheese. No, no, no. No cheese. No but what I was actually thinking, because we had this yesterday when mom made us dinner, we have some uh, dried cranberries. I think we need to put this in one of the cookies and have it be a surprise. I'm Just not... fill one with dried cranberries. Just That's fill it. disgusting. No. People are going to say it's like chocolate and cranberries are actually a really good mix. But Jesse and I, we both hate the texture of dried fruit. Okay, hold on. Guys, vouch for me. Do you want to bite into what you think is a nice warm chocolate chip cookie and then find cranberries? I feel like most people will be like, um, no. Some people will say yes, but I think we just need to fill one of them, bake it, and then mix all the cookies up and it'll be a fun little game. Well, I hope you get that one because clearly you're excited. I could. We're gonna do it. But we're gonna put some chocolate chips, a little bit of walnuts, if that's okay, Mom. Yeah, do. Do you. All right. And then we're gonna fill one with cranberries and just leave them out. Fine, let's get started. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that cranberries had the potential of having gluten in them. I did not know that. It's weird. Now you do. Yeah, I do. So we got our big bowl here that we're gonna fill up. And one of the weirdest ingredients is that there's water. So like, I've made chocolate chips before and you put milk in it, Well, right? there's water and there's also no eggs. There's no eggs? Nope. No eggs whatsoever. The recipe did call for yellow sugar. We do not have that. We have brown sugar, which is close enough, so... Wait, there's eggs usually in chocolate chip cookies, right? I think so. I could be wrong. Mom, is there usually eggs in chocolate chip cookies? I don't know. Usually. 
So I guess this is part of like what they didn't have in the 1800s. Not everyone had access to fresh eggs all the time. So I guess they didn't use eggs. They used water. And we're gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Let's do this. <laughs> You gotta show everybody how to wash hands because this is something that everyone needs to be doing. Got your soap. You gotta sing a song. I gotta sing a song? Yeah. I'm afraid of copyright infringement. Sing it off tune. In technicality, singing happy birthday is uh, copyright you infringement. You have to scratch your nails too. Yeah, you gotta scratch like your palm. That. There you yeah. go. Yeah. And your thumb. They say like rub your thumb a lot. Yeah, there you go. Gotta get that in there. Oh yeah. You're supposed to sing a song. Sing it off pitch. Like, it takes two to make a thing go wrong. I can't even sing that song normally, Jess. You remember on our wedding day, I didn't even know the lyrics. That was our wedding intro song, by the way. Nice, good. 20 seconds. All the way down to the wrist. Aren't they saying more than 20 seconds now? I think they're saying 40 now. Well, we don't have time for that at the moment. <laughs> at the moment. Any other time, absolutely. Right. Can't have 40 seconds of just washing hands. So, now we get to combine all the ingredients. With water. With water. Water. All right. So. Can I just hide these? Oh, no. <laughs> We're playing the game, Jess. It's a treasure chest. I think it's funny. This website is a cookie recipe, and it says this site uses cookies. Good. <laughs> that was funny, Ty. I know. I'm so funny. We got to get the oven going. Nice and easy, actually. There we go. 350. 350. Well, it's not right now, actually. Sugar, butter, and that's it. Okay. <laughs> that's the first thing that we do. Let's do these. So we need one cup of the sugar and one cup of butter. Luckily for us, oh, this is only half a cup of butter. It takes two of these sticks. This is not a good time to be making cookies in this quarantine day, Probably so we need not. all the butter we can get. All the butter, all the water. Are you sure you're reading that thing. right? Yes. Half a cup. Oh, wow. Yeah, I thought one was a cup. There we go. Come on! It takes a while. I'm trying to make sure we're not getting, like, foil and stuff in it. But you said it's surprise cookies. I mean, you might as well put everything in it. I don't think people would appreciate that. We don't need a doctor's trip right now. There we go. We need a cup, Jess. Yes, that's a cup. There's, my... there's a little bear in it. <laughs> it's so cute. It's to keep the sugar moist. It's not moist. It's not? <laughs> it is not moist. Oh we no. It's a bring out. Mom, your brown sugar is not moist. Ty, get the one downstairs. We're excavating, Jess. Ty. Get the one downstairs. Yeah, this stuff is solid. The bear can go back in, even though he's been kind of slacking on his job right now. Is that really what he's used for? Yeah. I think it's for scraping, Ty. Bean! I found the fancy brown sugar. <laughs> did you not even see me here? No, I did not. I look at my feet when I walk up the stairs because I'm tell. so scared of falling down the stairs. We found the fancy. The fancy. Um, the fancy. This is truly treasure chest cookies because we don't really know what we're going to be ending up putting in it because we don't know if we have all the ingredients. What's that? That is just sparkling water with lime juice in it. For you? Yeah. <laughs> we got a brown sugar. Yum. I think this is actually pretty close to yellow sugar, actually. Is it yellow sugar? No, it's it's uh, it says it's brown, but it looks almost like gold sugar. Kind of. Looks a little different, but it should do the trick. Yeah, let's use this. Good luck. Probably should have softened it a little bit, but it did mention to cream it, so uh, it's not supposed to be too soft. But this is a little ridiculous. So, I'm not putting this in there. We have our cream together, butter, and sugar. Uh-huh. People probably think I'm drinking beer right now if they just tuned in right now. <laughs> Sparkling water and lemon. Not even lemon, lime. <laughs> All right, so next calls for the flour, salt, and baking soda. So we need our two and a half cups of flour, which we're using our fake flour, and half a teaspoon of salt, three. and uh, one teaspoon of baking soda. Oh, baking soda, not baking powder. Don't touch your face. If you know it, I'm gonna wash my hands again. This is the world we live in now. This is how it should have always been. <laughs> <laughs> one teaspoon of baking soda. Toss it in there. I'm holding the camera. The hand. Where's the teaspoon? Behind the coffee pots. 
teaspoon. Get some baking soda. Get it in there. Gotta flatten it out. <laughs> is oh. that okay? Yeah, that is perfect. Okay, half a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, it's. you see it's just gonna go everywhere instead. Gonna be salty cookies. Gluten-free flour. Gluten-free? Gluten-free. Pretty sure a lot of people who eat gluten-free definitely do a lot of gluten though. You're not baking unless you make a mess. I'm supposed to use this for dinner tomorrow. I hope I have enough. <laughs> Probably. Sure you put the right amount. <laughs> so two and a half cups of flour. That's a lot of flour. It is a lot of flour. But when you think about it, we still need to add water. All right, the weird recipe. In all honesty, I wouldn't know the difference. This is the first time I've ever made chocolate chip cookies or treasure chest cookies too. Ever? Yeah, never have, never once. That's really sad. If I ever made cookies, it had like either oatmeal or something else tossed in. So the it sad just cookies. A regular chocolate chip cookie. Uh, we were supposed to actually do all the dry ingredients in a separate bowl. Well, those are all... about a third of the flour mixture to the butter. Half of the warm water. Continue to alternate in between. Thai. Why doesn't it say that at the beginning? We need to start putting in the water slowly. That's how we're gonna fix it. Now we play the waiting game. The camera's at 15%. This water is at about 15% right now. It's getting colder. Hi. Oh, it's warming up. This is bizarre. It is a little bizarre. We're just gonna slowly add in the water mixture to make up for the fact that I did not read properly. Looks like oatmeal. Probably tastes a little bit like oatmeal right now. Should we just add in an egg? No. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna make the whole thing just explode. <laughs> One thing I probably do have to add is a little bit more water. Gluten-free flour is uh, temperamental at best. You can see it's, it's like dough. Just have a little bit more water to add. Somebody's probably gonna get an entire mouthful of baking soda, but you know, that's okay. We got some cookie dough. My hands are clean. I just like cookie dough. A little sandy. <laughs> But cookie dough. Okay. Try some. No, thank you. Jess, it doesn't have eggs in it. Technically, this That's is safe to eat. Probably why it doesn't taste good. <clears throat> no, it's sandy because it's gluten free flour. Try it. This whole video, my mom's gonna be like, Is your mom sick? Try a little bit. It tastes like sand and rocks. <laughs> no, it tastes sweet. It tastes gross. You're making me feel really good about it. <laughs> you are. And add in the chocolate chips. <laughs> so we're gonna add in the chocolate chips. That'll make everything better. I think it says two cups of water. Whatever you're adding. Two cups of add-ins. It says raisins, chocolate chips, nuts, etc. We're gonna be putting some chocolate chips, some nuts. Definitely two cups and of chocolate chips. And a little bit of uh, etc. Two cups of chocolate chips. No, we're doing a mix. And we added in half a cup of walnuts and another half cup of chocolate chips. Does this bring back memories at all, Jess? Of what? <laughs> You've made chocolate chip cookies many times before. Have you made it a lot with Jesse or? Definitely not. No, we weren't allowed chocolate chip cookies as a kid. In the house. My mom made healthy things. <laughs> That's good. We didn't really do this on a regular basis. We made cookies. Like, with secret health in it. Well, that's essentially what uh, the dried cranberries is going to be for whoever eats it. Mm. Surprise health. Jess, get off your phone. They're ready. Almost. They're ready to go in the oven. Okay, cool. I guess I'll just yeah do this in my lonesome. <laughs> well, looks like we got cookies. It just doesn't look like they're 100% done. They're yet. cute. We'll do maybe the 15 minutes then. Yeah. Especially because it's gluten-free flour. Are you farting? You are, aren't you? Right when we open the cookie thing? No, right when I crouch down, I kind of squeeze it down. It's supposed to smell like nice cookies, not bean. Oh, it smells like cookies with a hint of turd. <laughs> Hard to press with mittens. There we go. We're good. Let's see. 15 minutes. Yeah, I would take them out and let them just. Okay. Uh, they're still a soft. There we go. So they're gonna like decompress. A little. I think so. This is the first batch because we still have about this much left. 
Oh, they're still kind of... But we have this much left. Oh my gosh. We're gonna be making cookies all day. Should we do three more minutes, maybe? Do you want them to be too hard, though? No. Stop poking them! I know, but I'm just... There's gonna, there's gonna be fingerprints all up in all of them, and everyone's gonna think it's me. Okay, just leave them. Here, let's just leave these ones. I think they're okay. Alright. They're a little soft, but they'll harden. Okay. Maybe. Cookies are usually really soft. You gotta let them cool. Alright. Just chill, Jess. Alright. Chill. Alright. Chill. Alright, so... Cookies are out of the oven, and we're gonna try them. They're all... I was gonna say dried off, but I meant cooled down. So... They look really good. I don't want to have the one with the cranberry. Which one's cranberry, Ty? I don't know. For real, I'm not going to enjoy it then. I'm not going to tell you. No, this was your choice to put them in, so you got to eat it. I got to eat it? Yeah. No, I sang. It's a game. We got to play it. Everyone's got to play the game. Choose one. No. Just choose one. Then you eat it. No. You go first. No. Here's the thing. We have another batch currently in there because it's taken about 15 minutes longer than what it actually said. And as you can tell, uh, they're, they're not too bad now. They're actually. good. They're still falling apart. So I'm going to take this one because as you can see, there's no cranberries in it. Is it good? But as you pointed out at the start, you can't trust my taste buds. I've been eating gluten free for the longest time now. What I consider good might taste like sand for you guys. Nose cam. Like it tastes good. You can tell it's gluten-free. Yes, you can. But it actually has sugar in it. No, you know what? It's good. It's good. When it cools down, it's going to be a little better. It's a little sandy. That's gluten-free flour for but it. But it's it's good. Like, I don't see any problem with there being water in it. No. It's pretty Other good. the fact that it takes a lot longer to bake. Yeah. The other batch right now, I put in for 25 minutes, so. Why are you doing that? This is perfect. Because that was in for 15 minutes and I put it in for 10 more minutes. So 25 minutes. No, but this so. turned out fine. I put them in again for 10 oh, minutes. Oh, okay, okay, got you, got you, got you, got you. Okay. You just gotta listen, <laughs> yes. This is why you can't follow Westworld. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you wanna try this recipe, go for it, I give it a big thumbs up. It will probably taste better not gluten-free, but if you are gluten-free, it's still pretty good. Give it a nine out of 10. I hope you have a good rest of your day and we'll see you in our next vlog. Bye. I'm gonna set these out and I'm gonna see who gets it. <sighs> see you guys. Let the game begin.